Matthew from Audio Control here uh, to talk to you guys about some of our new LGD products. A lot of you are already familiar with the AC LGD, the load generating device is what that stands for. And the original LGD was brought out to help stabilize the output of these newer vehicles with factory radios where you know those factory radios are looking to see a load. If they don't see that load on their outputs, um, the output side of those gets all crazy causes all sorts of problems in those cars, most importantly, cutting off sound in most vehicles. So you end up with an install that doesn't make any noise, obviously not a happy customer. So we came up with the original LGD to help with that problem. They should really be used on every install, especially on vehicles 2015 and newer. It's found in pretty much every model of car, not just Dodge Chrysler, Jeep Ram, which is what most of us think of. Um, Honda uses them, Ford uses them, all sorts of stuff. So a good piece to use in every car. It cannot hurt to put this piece in. It will never cause a problem. Even if the car didn't really need it, you're not going to cause any damage or any problems by putting one in. So now we've also come up with, for the 2015 and newer vehicles, because these don't always work in those, we've come up with the LGD20 and the LGD60. The LGD20 is going to be for the newer vehicles, 2015 and newer, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, Ram, Maserati, that are non-amplified. Even the non-amplified vehicles still need an LGD, but you need a 20 ohm one in those ones for it to be reliable and keep that output consistent, trick that radio into thinking it has what it needs and keep everything working properly. In the newer Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Maseratis that have the amplified sound systems, these are your Infinity, Alpine, Harman Kardon, Beats, whatever, um, you're gonna wanna use the LGD 60. Those 60 ohm ones are gonna stabilize output in those and make those systems work the way that you are expecting them to. Thank you.